There are many people around the state who rely on Medicare, and it's important for those that do to understand how to get the most out of their benefits and to keep an eye out for potential fraud. So joining us now with more on that today is Jonathan Burlinson. He is with Nebraska SHIP. He is the administrator. Thanks for being here today. Hey, thanks for having me, Taryn. Yeah, so maybe explain to us what Nebraska SHIP does and Nebraska SMP. Yeah, so Nebraska SHIP, uh, Nebraska SHIP exists to provide unbiased Medicare education and counseling. Uh, the SMP side of our office exists to provide education regarding the topic of preventing Medicare fraud and abuse. Uh, we also serve as a source to report uh, that potential fraud and uh, abuse as well. What kind of fraud or scams are we seeing right now? Yeah, so in Nebraska, what we have um, a lot of reports of are folks that uh, call in, uh, that are receiving phone calls from people who are claiming to be with Medicare. Um, these people are, are uh, claiming to be providing a new Medicare card. Um, the scam is taking the approach of being offered a plastic Medicare card, uh, which um, is on, uh, incorrect. The Medicare card is, in fact, still a paper card. Um, mm -hmm. This is a, a scam that uh, kind of developed uh, with the introduction of the new Medicare card back in 2018. Okay. Ever since then, uh, it's been kind of a scam people need to be aware of. How big of an impact does Medicare fraud have on folks today and on the state? Uh, it's a large impact. Uh, Medicare estimates that uh, Medicare loses um, annually about uh, 60 to 100 billion dollars um, each year. Um, that uh, financial impact certainly can have an impact on a person individually. Potentially they're paying for something that they didn't receive. Um, but maybe on a larger level, folks need to take into consideration the fact that um, Medicare fraud can potentially impact their um, their health care themselves, maybe false diagnosis or maybe um, they're not able to receive tests because their Medicare record, uh, their health care record shows uh, things that, um, you know, maybe um, have not occurred, but on, on record because of scam, it, ha it shows it does. Okay, so what can people do to prevent this type of fraud from happening? Yeah, so the first thing is just to uh, prevent the, uh, the fraud by protecting personal information. Um, people should treat their Medicare card like a credit card. Don't okay. share that Medicare number with any uh, individual that they don't know or trust, so certainly someone who's calling over the phone. Um, additionally, people can detect fraud by you know keeping a health care journal or a record of uh, any kind of health care they received. If they went to the doctor's office, jot down the name, the doctor's name, uh, you know, just any service services they received if they were prescribed anything and they can compare that to those reports that Medicare sends a Medicare summary notice uh, an explanation of benefits those come after Medicare has paid for services um, when a person sees something um, uh, suspicious they should report it um, first call the provider maybe it's just human error um, resulting in what they're seeing but if it's potential fraud or error or rather fraud or abuse um, the Nebraska ship and SMP does exist to um, assist people in determining um, whether or not that should be reported to to um, those investigating um, uh, entities. Okay, so if people have questions about maybe what they heard today, or if they just have questions in general, where can they go? Yeah, so the Nebraska SHIP, we do have a statewide hotline. That hotline is 1-800-234-7119. Uh, um, we also have a website, doi.nebraska.gov slash SHIP. Um, okay. Definitely a wonderful resource to get some information about Medicare and how to prevent Medicare fraud. Okay, so that number again, Jonathan, just for folks to jot it down. Yeah, 1-800-234-7119. Okay, good information today. Thanks for coming. Hey, thanks, Taryn. Mm -hmm.